Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Bailey and I'm the owner of Goo Goo Goods. Today's video is going to be another craft fair vlog. I am currently about to leave my house and go to the Mezzo Market in St. Petersburg, Florida. I thought it takes like a little bit over two hours, but I just checked my um, my maps and it said it's gonna take me like an hour 47 to get there, which is actually pretty good. My setup window is between 9.30 and 10.30 and it's 7.10 right now. And there's a possibility that I might have to stop and get gas because like I'm at a quarter of a tank. So it's good that I have like a little bit of a time buffer there because I think it is going to take me like the whole time because the market itself starts at 11. It's from 11 to 4. And so like if I get there at 930, you know, like an hour and a half to set up is not like a ton of time. So I'm glad about that. I'm fully packed and ready to go, obviously. And it is pretty chilly. It's way chillier than it is typically here in Florida for January. Right now it says it's 47 and down in St. Petersburg, it says that the high today is like 58. So I'm wearing a pullover to stay warm. Um, but I'm excited. I'm a little bit nervous, like I was saying, because with the weather being colder than it typically is, that could potentially mean that less people are gonna come out. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to judge it, like judge the success of it based on today, um, like the success of Mezzo Market in general based on today. So I'm a little bit nervous about that, but I'm very excited to see how it turns out. I, I've i got high hopes, so hopefully it's good. Um, I brought like my center blocks just in case, um, cause it said like it could get pretty windy. But there are a ton of people, like a ton of vendors that are gonna be there. And if you look at like the drone footage that they post onto like their social media and like pictures and stuff like that, it seems like there are usually a bunch of people there shopping. And it's also kind of like in like a shopping area anyway. So there's always gonna be a lot of people. Um, yeah, so I'm excited. So let's just go ahead and hit the road. Um, for my drive, I'm going to be listening to uh, Bridgerton book number four, uh, Romancing Mr. Bridgerton. This is like the Penelope storyline, which I don't know if you like, if you guys like watch like Bridgerton on Netflix or anything like that, but I think the third season is going to be focusing on this book instead of the third book, which is um, Sophie and Benedict. Sophie and Benedict is the story for book number three, but they're not doing that for season three. They're doing Penelope and Colin storyline, which I appreciate because I like Penelope and Colin. But I'm going to be listening to that. I just finished Gone Girl, which was like crazy. I really liked the movie and I listened to the book and the book is, whew, it is so good. And I'm probably going to say something that might not be like super great, but I'm like 100% on the girl's side and like her actions maybe not justified but i can see it i can understand it i respect it i back it um but yeah all that to say i'm excited to start making my way down there it's been a while since i have taken a multi-hour road trip so yeah so let's just go ahead and head on down there side note i think because of like how like we're going to be set up on the road i don't know how easily i'm going to be able to film my setup i'm going to try to film it to the best of my abilities but the front of it is gonna be facing the road or people are still gonna be bringing in their cars and leaving. So I might have to film from like the back of my setup. So I'll figure it out when I get there, but I'm trying to think about the best way to set you up so you guys can see the whole, the whole shebang. Okay, without further ado, let's just go ahead and go.
like we're running in circles Going around every day Getting stuck in the hurdles Of yesterday Don't you wanna go further Away from the fray Let's not get stuck in our worries We'll make our way Won't you come outside Where the sunflowers bloom Breathe in the air Look up to the moon I'll meet you outside I'm all set up and ready to go. It is pretty breezy and I may put some more stuff on this one. But I've got my checkout stand. I've got these two set up pretty good, I think. So I've got my Florida, and my roller coaster, and then I've got cowboy boot, expensive and difficult. And then I've got these kid ones. And then I have the t-shirts and their poly bags here. And then I have all the sizes I have up here on this rack. And then I have the manatee and the Florida. I think I'm gonna put some of the roller coaster and the gator up there maybe, I don't know. And I thought a good idea of kind of separating them, you probably saw this in the video, would be to tie these little ropes on here to make it so that like they can't bunch all together. And I think that's been a good idea. So I am liking how that looks, but I did a little bit of a walkabout tour, but I need to get Casey to come over here to like watch my booth briefly so I can get the rest of the footage down there or ask her to take a quick little video of it. But yeah, this is what we're looking like so far. The time is 11.07. See if I can get it, it's probably gonna be too dark. I need to finish price tagging some stuff, but it's 11.07 and we have until four today, so I'm excited to see how it goes. You think you know me? Hey Dylan. Hey. So I'll try to get you a better look at these real quick. So here is the Manatee Fan Club. And there is the back. And then 
here is the expensive and difficult. It's a little breezy. I'm gonna try to get where the breeze is the expensive and difficult one. And then here is the cowgirl boot one. Here's the front. And there's the back. Awesome, super cute. I also want to do some goal setting real quick. My goal for today is to make like $600. I think it was like $115 to do the market. And then I had to drive down here. So $600 like at like the lowest. So I hope I make that. Um, my big goal would be like $1,000. So we've got five hours to do it. So that's $200 an hour. So I hope we can do that and get it done. It's a little bit chilly. And there are people like, you know, out and about. But I've not had a ton of people come in the booth. So that's a little bit stressful but yeah so i hope to make at least 600 a thousand if we're hopeful so yeah let's just go ahead and put our best foot forward and do it 12 o'clock check-in and we're at about 96 dollars right now so not bad not great i just sold out at my last small yeah. of the florida sunshine club pullovers so that's a little bit it's a little bit annoying um because i probably will not reorder more sizes of that until i sell out of more of the other stuff so that's kind of annoying i've got a ton of mediums a ton of mediums so, I mean, hopefully people want more mediums today. So, yeah, so that is how we're looking. Um, it is very, very chilly, but I'm going to set you up in the corner and see if we see anything. It's not super busy, so we may not see anything, but we'll try. I know the next morning when the sun goes out, it might be the last day. but I'm still pretty cold but I've not had too many people come in here it seems like a lot of the traffic is like on the long side because we're kind of like on an offshoot so if I was on the big long street like I'd probably be getting like way more traffic but yeah I'm excited I'm gonna set you up and kind of show you what it's looking like traffic wise in front of me very confident that we're gonna make 600 at least but yeah so we will see we'll see how the next hour goes but I am officially sold out of all the smalls of the Florida Sunshine Club and right now I just have a small and a 2x of the manatee fan club but I decided to move this manatee fan club up here to this because people were liking this one so I thought maybe they didn't have their size in this they'd like that one but it's making it back here look a little bare and the wind is actually kind of like ruining this idea of separation but yeah, this is what it's looking like right now. That's that. And I've been replacing these whenever this one sells, but I've not sold a bunch of these yet. Yeah, so that is what we are looking like. Oh, the wind's trying to take this away. Don't go anywhere. Three o'clock check-in, so unfortunately we've not met our goal yet. We're only at like 572, so in the last hour I think I only sold a hat, which is a little disappointing. Um, I've had a ton of people come in here and like walk around, but it doesn't appear that anyone's like buying anything from anyone. 
So, you know, it is what it is. I mean, it's all part of it. But, yeah, it is just a little frustrating because, you know, drove two hours, spent like $30 on parking, and then like, you know. So, yeah, it's just like a lot of effort for this. So, I don't want to say that it's a total bust because, I mean, like, 572 is nothing to scoff at, but it was just like a lot of off, like, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of work for it. So, hopefully, I make my goal in the next couple minutes. Um, because I'd be kind of disappointed if I didn't. So yeah, let's just put on a brave face and do it. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden, I'll follow only golden, 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 golden things. Mountain Laurel High Five. Miles in spring, rainbow trout and hummingbird. The market is over and I'm all packed up. I actually did a really fantastic job getting packed up because the market ended at four and it's only five now and I'm all ready to go. And that includes me breaking down, walking to get my car, driving my car over here, and then like packing up. So I did a really, really good job. I know it's kind of bright, but I can't like get it any less bright than that. But I think it's kind of cute. I think it's good lighting. Okay. But I ended up actually like hitting my goal. I made 620 today. Um, which is okay. It's not great. I definitely was hoping for at least a thousand. You know, my big goal was a thousand, but I'm glad I hit the 600. Um, I'm happy about that. It definitely seemed like I was just in a bad spot because the person next to me, she regularly does the markets and she said when she, she's usually on like the main the main road she said that she can always like guarantee that she's gonna make over a thousand dollars each time and she said that she was nowhere close to that today so I don't know if it was a combination of where I was like on like where I was set up and located um, also like it was really really cold but it was pretty interesting because I did have a ton of people come into my booth but just like no one was buying anything and I could tell that that was gonna happen happening like around me too like people would come in and look at stuff but not buy anything and a couple of the booths in front of me didn't look like they really had any traffic at all so that's interesting i don't know if that's because of the weather or because of the location or anything like that um i think i'm gonna go ahead and sign up for the march one i've got um i've got another one here on march 9th that's the next one for here because i think i got waitlisted for the february one so i'll go ahead and uh secure my spot for the march 9th one just because i want to see i want to see if it's better um i really really like downtown st pete it is like really really cute the parking lots are super duper full like it's crazy there are a ton of people down here going out to eat and walking around so it's pretty crazy it's, so i wonder what it's going to be like when the weather's good it's crazy but it is really really cute i don't know if like the beach is over here because there's a lot of like high-rise hotel looking things that kind of look like you're at the beach like at Myrtle Beach or something like that but yeah I I am pleasantly like I'm pleasantly pleased that I did hit my goal not my major goal but I'm glad that it wasn't a total bust so I'm happy about that but tomorrow I think we're going to be going to um, Disney World so that's more kind of like personal stuff tomorrow we're gonna go to magic kingdom and if we have time we'll go to epcot to see if we can go do some stuff for the festival of the arts because we really like figment and i really like epcot and i want to see what kind of treats they've got to offer and then if they have like any cool i think they've got a really cool popcorn bucket i love popcorn ethan does not care for popcorn but i think they have one that's got like the like the pyramids i'm, I'm trying to remember like what the pyramids are called that has like the Disney Vacation Club, like club thing up top where uh, Figment, Journey into the Imagination with Figment is. Um, so uh, I think we're going to do that. I'll include some footage of that because I think that'll be cute. But I hope you enjoyed this market vlog. So be sure to tune in if you want to see us going to Disney World. But if you just want to end it here, then that's totally fine with me. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!
just all in my 